Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Valentine's Day is coming soon. The first flower that I can think of is definitely roses. So today we are going to make an English rose. Skip to dial. And I will use this opportunity to share my latest technique with soft pastel. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. And thank you for all of your support and we have reached 500 subscribers. I know lots of flower artists use pen pastel to colour their flowers but they're not cheap for each colour and I'm struggling to pick the colours that I would like to invest. So today I'm going to share my little technique to use soft pastel to get a similar effect of pan pastel. This box of soft pastel has been with me for more than 10 years and I've picked three colours to demonstrate. Yellow, red and a magenta. I've cut a piece of beige crepe paper in 90 grams and 180 grams. Two pieces of 180 grams in red. Take out a slightly big paintbrush that you won't be too precious about it. And a pair of scissors or a scalpel. We scrape some pastel powder off onto a piece of paper. Use the paintbrush to brush the powder on. You almost want to rub the colour onto the paper and you will need quite a bit of powder. Remove the remaining powder to the bin. Now I'm going to show you colour mixing. I've started with a red on both beige crepe paper. Add a bit of magenta to the mix. Now we can make our own colour. You can see the colour changes and you can make any colours for your flowers. Second way to blend your colours, you can layer different colours to create a colour graduation. I've also added some black to a piece of red paper, so you can see the difference between using the light and dark colours onto a very strong coloured paper. The beige crepe paper took the pastel colours very well. You can see the blending of colours. Pastel colouring method is definitely perfect for 90 gram papers, which cannot take much of water. For the strong coloured paper, adding lighter colours might not be ideal in general. You can definitely add some shading to the paper, but do not expect to colour it or covering the original colour of the paper. After all the colouring talk, we will get back to our flower making. Take three pieces of 18 gauge wire together and wrap the wire with a strip of green crepe paper as our flower stem. Then we need to cut the petals out of the 90 gram pale pink crepe paper according to the template. After we have cut the petals out from all 7 templates, we are going to use the soft pastels to colour the petals. We will need the red and white to mix into a pink shade. Test the colour out on the paper and brush the colours onto the petals. Always start from the bottom and bring the colour to the top, because the first stroke is always the strongest. Take the remaining powder off. Try not to use your fingers to wipe the powder off. You might rub the colour into the paper to somewhere you don't want. For our first petal, we will also add some yellow pastel towards the bottom and blend some pink around it. 
and should look like this. The inner petals have stronger shading than the outer petals. Now it's time for shaping. Get a glue stick if you have one. We just need something with a 2cm diameter to curl our petals. Use the end of a paintbrush to curl the top of the petal. Hold the top together and open the petals up at the middle. They should be quite round looking. Do the same to the first 5 templates. For the last two petals, we need to bend the tips outwards. You can use the same paintbrush to get a smaller curl. Or you can curl with a sharpie for a bigger curl. Curl all the petals. Cut two pieces of 2.5 times 5 cm yellow crepe paper into small fringes. Give it a little rub. Add a bit of hot glue to the paper and wrap around the stem. Expand the flower center. Then we can start adding the petals with some hot glue to the flower center starting from the first layer. It should look like this. Now we are going to add a bit more shading to the petals. 
I just add the remaining pastel in between the petals. Then we need to make a few leaves to decorate our beauty. I've made two leaves from 26 gauge wires and one with 24 gauge wire as the main stem. Cut a few strips of crepe paper for wrapping the leaves. Wrap the 24 gauge wire as the main stem. If you need a full tutorial on leaves making, we have a separate video on crepe paper leaves. Then we wrap one of the 26 gauge wire and we join in with the first leaf. We do the same to the next leaf. I've shaped the edges of the leaf to mimic the zigzag edges of the rose's leaves. Take your rose out and add a few bottom leaves to the glue. Curl the bottom leaves and wrap another green paper strip to hide the roots of the bottom leaves. Finally, we just need to wrap the leaves to the flower stem and we are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you will like it. Thank you again for helping us to reach our 500 subscribers milestone. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials and all our templates and DIY kits are available on our Etsy store. Check them out and see you guys next week.